Hello guys, today we are going to study a property about bijection and composition of functions. First, let's state this property. Let A and B be two sets. Let F be an element of B to the power of A. I mean F is a map from A to B. And the property states that F is bijective if and only if there exists one J that belongs to A to the power of B. I mean J is a map from B to A such that On the one hand, G of F is equal to identity map of A. And on the other hand, F of G is equal to identity map of B. We are going to prove this property. So first, we look at the sentence that we must prove and we determine the nature of this sentence. We see that it's an equivalence between two boxes. F is bijective and that proposition there exists one G that belongs to A to the power of B such that and so on. So we write at once the body corresponding. First we are going to prove an implication. So let's prove that this box implies this box. F is bijective implies there exists one J that belongs to A to the power of B such that on the one hand G of F is equal to identity map of A and on the other hand F of G is equal to identity map of B. And to prove an implication we, s we assume that the first proposition is true and then we prove the f second proposition is true. So we write, let's assume that f is bijective and then the conclusion is there exists one element of a to the power of b such, uh, there exists one g that belongs to a to the power of b such that on the one hand g of f is equal to identity of a and on the other hand f of g is equal to identity map of b We look at the bottom and we determine the nature of the sentence that we must prove. Here we've got to find something that is called G, that is a function from B to A and that has two properties. G of F is equal to and F of G is equal to identity maps. And uh, here it's very quick because we know a function that has those two properties. It's the inverse of f, the inverse function of f. So uh, we have just to put uh, j is equal to 
I put J is equal to identity map of uh, no, excuse. Uh, you have just to put j is equal to the inverse function of f. We put j is equal to f inverse, and we verify that g has got uh, the properties. First, g is a map from b to a. Secondly, g of f is equal to, um, we replace g by f inverse, f inverse of f, and we know that f inverse of f is equal to identity map of a, and thirdly, we calculate f of g is equal to f of f inverse and we know that f of f inverse is equal to identity map of b so we have got our conclusion secondly we are going to prove that that proposition implies this proposition let's prove that there exists 1j that belongs to a to the power of b such that in the one hand g of f is equal to identity map of a and on the other hand f of g is equal to identity map of b implies f is bijective it's an implication so we have got to assume that this proposition is true and then we prove that proposition is true. Let's assume that there exists one j that belongs to a to the power of b such that on the one hand g of f is equal to identity map of A and on the other hand f of g is equal to identity map of B and let's prove that f is bijective now we look at the bottom and we determine the nature of the sentence. Here we must prove that a function is bijective. So we have got two things to prove. First, we must prove f is surjective. Secondly, we must prove that f is injective. Let's prove that f is surjective. And in the second time, let's prove that f is injective. To prove a function is surjective, we take an element y in the dip, uh, in the i rival set of a so we take an element y in b for each y that belongs to b and we must build an x in the departure set of f whose image by f is equal to y so we have got a conclusion there exists one x that belongs to a such that f of x is equal to y here we look at the sentence at the bottom 
and here we must find an element of A. How can we build an element of A? We know why, and we know that there is a function G, because we have assumed that there exists one G that belongs to A to the power of B. So we know G, G and G allows to build one element in A. So we are going to to put x uh, is j of y and if we are lucky it will be the good x so let's go I put x is j of y so x is an element of a and so we, we have got this first property and now we are going to calculate f of x and if we are lucky we, have, we, we will have got f of x is equal to y. So I calculate f of x is equal to f of j of y is equal to f of j of y and I know that f of j is equal to identity map of B so I get Y and that's uh, what I wanted so the first proof uh, is okay now we are going to prove that F is injective to prove a function is injective we take two elements in the departure set of f, I call them x and x prime, and I suppose that their image by f are equal. So I start with for each x and x prime that belongs that belong to A such that f of x is equal to f of x prime and then with this hypothesis I must conclude that x is equal to x prime what can I do here? I've got an hypothesis that I have not used uh, g of f is equal to identity. So I can use this hypothesis by introducing g of f. So I'm going to calculate g of this one and g of this one and as f of x is equal to f of x prime their image are equal to. So we have got j of f of x, f of x is equal to j of f of x prime Hence, g of f of x is equal to g of f of x prime. And now I can replace g of f by identity map of A. And I get x, x is equal to x prime. Bye bye!